48 hours have got to be uh, pretty exciting for you. What's the, what's it been like for you? Yeah, um, you know, like yesterday was a long day with travel and, and, and uh, two good games, one at Tri City and then here. And, um, you know, it's just exciting to come out here and play well and, and meet all these new guys. So it's awesome. Did you know any of these guys going into this game? Because it looked like in the dugout, at least before the game, you were laughing. It seemed like you knew some of them. Yeah, I, I played with a couple of them down at Tri City, and they got called up earlier this year. And, uh, I actually played against one of these guys in high school, so yeah, I knew a couple of them. What was it like? I know the first at bat, maybe some jitters came out and struck out, and then the second at bat, you come out and hit a home run. Yeah, um, you know, this guy made a good pitch. And, what was your feeling like when you did, when you saw your defense? Um, you know, I was happy. It was, um, put us ahead, so that was good, and, and um, you know we won the game. So that's what really matters. When did you first find out that you were going to get called up to single A after the Grand Slam the other night? When did you first find out the news and you would be coming to Kentucky? Um, he told us, he told me right after the game. Uh, that we were coming up here, so I had about five hours to get everything ready, and, and then we headed out the next morning. Is that kind of the life of a minor league baseball player? Is that what you expect now? Yeah, um, you just never know when it's going to be, and, and uh, you got to be ready for it. Well, talk about what do you guys, do you even know where you go next? I mean, what's next for this team? I mean, where do yeah, you guys? Yeah, we're going back home now. Okay. I, I haven't really looked at the schedule. All I know is so we're going back home. Did you have fans and uh, family and people that made it out today? Were they able to make it? Uh, yeah, there was a couple people who came out. Uh, no family, just uh, one of the guys that played with that school. Is, he's from around here, so his parents came out to watch. It's a lesson what it's been like, just playing in Kentucky now, even a couple months later, playing professional ball and really picking up right where you left off. Yeah, you know, it's awesome uh, playing professional baseball. It's what I've been doing my whole life. So uh, it's nice to come out here and, and play well and have a little bit of success so far. And, and uh, you know, I'm meeting a lot of really nice kids and nice guys and we're coming to friends, so that's really exciting. Are you meeting your goals so far? I know five home runs, 406, I believe, in, in uh, Penn League. I mean, how have you evaluated yourself so far, what you've been able to do? Yeah, I think it's been all right. Um, you know, after I got past the adjustment period of, of the wood bats, um, you know, I'm starting to feel a lot more comfortable up there and, and uh, you know, not really thinking about it as much. So, uh, so right now it's going well, and, and I'm pretty pleased with where I'm, going, where I'm at right now. Kind of on top of that, what are your goals? I mean, how quickly have they told you? Are you going to move up quicker than you know, through this league, or what, what's next for you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know. There's only about a month left of this season, so um, you know, just trying to play as good as I can. And if, if they feel the need to, to move me up, then, then that would be great. Uh, they haven't really said anything so far, so um, you know, just keep playing well and, and giving myself opportunities. Is this your first trip to Iowa, and do you have a place to stay? Everything already ready to go? No, I got to find a place when we get back. Uh, actually, Quad City is where we stay at. I, I played tournaments there in high school, so uh, I've been up there a couple times. And, uh, but yeah, I got to go find a place to stay when we get back. D does the SEC prepare you for these? You know, moving around town to town. Does that? Does, how much does that help? Um, you know, the competition competition level is, is the SEC helps out with that and facing those types of guys. And, uh, but you know, when at college ball, you kind of have that stability of you know you're going to go back home and you know what home's going to be. And then here, uh, you never, one day you know, I'm in New York and then now I'm here. So um, you know, in that, that regard, it, nothing really prepares you for that. Quad City close enough for your mom to come watch you play some games? Well, I was in Florida, so. Oh, okay. okay. Close enough I thought she was in Terre Haute still. No, no. no. okay. So, so yeah, she's not going to come up. <laughs> okay. Well, good job.